Well, we are here today at Interstate 81 Antiques, and I love coming here because they've got such a great variety of stuff. There is one booth in particular where they have a lot of high-end items, and occasionally I will spend some money to make some money, but I've done really well with items out of that booth. I got an art glass teapot the one time, and then I got the shorebird, so I've done pretty well with those items, but um, we're going to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit so here we go all right so i figured we would start back here in this booth and of course i noticed this little tea set right here unfortunately there is some damage on it that's such a shame because it's so cute i really like that Ooh, what is this? That is art glass. It's Costa Boda. 45. It's very heavy. I might consider that. I might. But I'm going to see what else there is. Tramp art cabinet. I do like that. Ooh, I love tramp art. I've got a thing for tramp art. I usually can't touch it because it's usually pretty expensive. Little Art Nouveau dish for five. It's in a pond. It's Germany. C.S. Mouse. Looks like our little gnome buddy is still here. Got a bird for $15. I wonder if that is a lid to something. Hmm. A lot of you were commenting on this beautiful Art Nouveau statue only being $450. I guess online, there's a lot of places that have it listed for upwards of $900. So if anyone's interested, you know where to find it for $450. That's a great deal. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to ship something like that. Now I will say I am still very much tempted by that beautiful piece of art up there. For two fifty, it would be two hundred dollars. I do really like it. Two cloisonne jars for two sixty-five. Looks like we've got another little figurine here. This guy is $12. Eileen Schweitzer. Unfortunately, it looks like there's some damage on the ears there. Ears. Or whatever you want to call them. We've got a little box here for $8. Oh, maybe they're, they're actually separate. I suspect that this is a, um, a stife. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Only $8 on that. Vintage Pixie. She's on her phone. <laughs> I kind of like her, I'm not going to lie. Oh my gosh, these little guys. Japan, six dollars. The lion is great. Little flocked lion for six. He's probably Germany. I'm gonna assume. I have to do a little research on that, but these flocked critters are oftentimes West Germany. 
I'm not sure about her. She is a vintage Ukrainian doll. You know, I was gonna set her aside and just take the rest of them, but I, I, I will admit I might feel a little guilty about that. I think that's just a psychological thing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take the whole flat and all of the creatures because they are 20% off. I just think that she is delightful, if I'm being honest. This reminds me of like the 1990s as a kid chit-chatting with my friends on the phone. Some cameos there. All right, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm going to buy this painting because I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since the last time. And there's just, there's something about it. All right, so I was able to pull it down and I see a signature down here, but I can't really make it out. It almost looks like Garly, G-H, I don't know. I like it. I think I will buy it. There is a Redware vase back there that I shall pull out and look closer at. Redware glazed vase base chip. Do oh, I see it on the back? That's kind of a bummer that there's a chip there. I kind of don't want to like push it into the back again. Maybe I will set it right here and rearrange the shelves just a little bit. There we go. Ta-da! This is nice. I like this. What is this? Square box brass stone finial. $18. China. like the George Washington souvenir. I see they've got all the Valentine's Day cards out again. I remember buying a few of these last year. I've got a face jug here. A lot of you were commenting on the face jug in one of my other videos. I know there's some folklore that goes along with these face jugs. Something to ward off evil spirits or something like that. It's $300 and 20% off. I'm just not sure that there's room there for me, unfortunately. What is this? This is a carved walnut plate. Oh, I like that. Is it marked walnut? Oh, I dropped the sticker. Wait, I dropped a sticker. Oh, yes, okay. Don't lose the price tag. There we go. I like that. I think I will put that over here. Um, let's set it right here so I don't forget it. Because you know me. Mary Toya. Chocolate Angels here. Andrew recently picked up a bunch of uh, points and he was planning to put those in his booth. So apparently, it's not a bad idea. Now I may have to switch cameras, so give me a moment. Squeeze into this booth. This is 85 S. Teller, New Mexico. I think one of the pieces that is catching my eye is in the back here, right about here. 
Volta. Focus. Volta. I don't know what Volta is. British Columbia. We will pass. Local pottery. Sorry, Dolly, can you move right there? Thank you. That weighs about seven million pounds. 40, no, $30 for that. I feel like we've looked at this cat before. <laughs> Either that or I've seen it somewhere else. All right, so at this very moment, Andrew is at an auction. And one of those items at the auction is a German canister set. So, earlier today I was looking up German canister sets. And I saw this set. Oh, aren't they cool? Look at that. Oh, I like those. $50 for the lot, though. I don't know if I can pay that. Oh, but they're so neat looking. I don't know. I don't think I can pay 50, even 20 with 20% off. I guess it's a family though. I don't know why she's so pale. Ghost child. It's kind of strange. A little, I might, mm, I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> these canisters here. I have to, um, there we go. Canisters, $95 plus 25% off for all the canisters. All of them. This is the tea canister. Are they marked? Germany. Now, the ones that I was seeing on... Worth point because I was looking on Worth Point, we're selling upwards of two hundred and fifty dollars. Looks like there's two versions of the tea. This one's got a crack, unfortunately. That one looks to be older. But ninety-five dollars for all of them? That's pretty crazy. This one's for raisins. Rice. What do we have back there? We may never know. Twirl, 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 twirl. Come on, what are you? This is the blank one. This one actually has nothing on it. For real, there's nothing on this one in the back. So we may never know. This is oatmeal. Oatmeal and raisins. Tea. I don't know what the large one is. But all of them for $95. I feel like that's a really good deal. Especially if I plan to part them out. Just noticing this box. Kind of like that box. I might dig that out too. Back to this. Um, I feel like there was some artistry that went into making these. They're definitely vintage. And I'm very curious about them. But am I $50 curious about them? <laughs> That's the question. Is his head loose? His head is a little loose. You know what? I'll say yes, I am $50 curious about them. And um, if you know anything about these, leave it in the comments and let me know. Hang on though, is she supposed to be holding something? Maybe that's it, maybe that is what she's supposed to be holding, is a little piece of paper. I don't know, they're interesting. And I like things that are interesting. So for $40, I will take them. And I'm gonna haul all of these canisters up front. These plaques are super cool. Industrial plaques. Number eight boiler, number six boiler, number seven, and they're enamel on copper. Those are really neat. I don't know what the resale value is on those, but I was trying to dig out this box and I realized that there is an image of something on the front. It looks like it is priced at 
$85. There is some sewing stuff on the inside, but I think I'm going to pass on that. And, um, oh, this is, oh, this one actually is in German. It's Give Back, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> All right, so this is just kind of the outside of the booth here. That's an interesting sculpture. I kind of like that. Obviously, I would never be able to ship it in a million years. But back here is Angela's library. And I absolutely love that she put this back here. Oh, she's got comic books. Andrew has been selling a lot of comic books out of the booth at Carlisle, and um, that's crazy. Yeah, there's comic books here as well. But this is the library in the little back corner. You can come in and buy your books here, used. There you go. I think this is adorable. I love the little library. All right, well, let's go check on the other side of the mall. So Angela's got some jewelry in here. Kinda like that little dachshund. And I love her use of the little salts. Those are upside down open salt cellars. And I love the way she's using them to display the jewelry. I think that's so clever. Ooh, cabbage patch light. <laughs> oh, do you kind of like this? dresser dish. Alright, well I'm going to go into the back and check out Sis's booth. Here we go. Oh, she's ready for Valentine's Day. Look at all the Valentine's planters. Oh, I love them. So cute. Oh, I like this. What is this? I think that's a carved stone. It's got fish carved into it. All right, so let's look at this little girl. I can't tell if she's a hobbyist piece or if she's California pottery. She's got those eyes. She's staring into your soul. <laughs> oh, we've got some head vases. Look at this. She's beautiful. $18 lady head vase. Oh, I love her. I like her a lot. I may have to buy her for 18. What about this lady? Unfortunately, she's got damage on her head. Part of her petals are missing. She is beautiful. I think I am gonna take this lady head face though. What is that little doggy doing? What does that say? Donna something interesting, UNESCO. Hmm. I've got some pottery over here. I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but I did end up leaving this unfortunately, because there was a chip right on the inside of it. 
so that is still here. Remember my Christmas tree for 85. I feel like I'm backing into Santa. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to take my head vase and mosey on along. Alright, well as you can see, it is dark out. I've got like shadow on my face. It's dark. Um, and my total spend here at the mall was a whopping $388. However, 200 of that was a painting. <laughs> so technically I'm only counting 180 of that. Because I'm not sure yet whether or not I'm going to sell the painting. Similar to what I said in yesterday's video, I just, I buy what I like and then if it has a high resale value, then I'll usually sell it. But, I may hold on to this one for a while because this was a piece that I, I just, I felt drawn to. So, I may hold on to it for a while, I'm not sure yet. So, our total spend not counting the painting, was $180. And I'm really excited about those canisters. I feel like those are going to do well. So, all of that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see all of you tomorrow, later.